I'm London Jen, and today we're doing something slightly different. This is not battle rap, but it is hip hop, and it's what hip hop is all about. Um, I'm going to introduce you to today's guest, who is the co founder and executive director of the Hip Hop Loves Foundation. Um, introducing you to Renee John Sandy. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, Dan? How you doing? I am Thanks doing up. great. How are you? I'm great. Um, <clears throat> afternoon here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Um, you know, pleasure and honor to be on the show today. Oh, yeah, it's my pleasure and honor to have you. It's uh, evening. It's eight o'clock here uh, in the UK. Uh, Hip hop is truly global. And now because we have, you know, these innovations, um, we get to connect like this uh, no matter where we are in the world. Um, Tell me, so tell me about Hip Hop Love, we're talking global. Um, what mm -hmm. what exactly is um, your organization? Yeah, so um, basically our organization, um, we started it <clears throat> in 2009. <clears throat> and the mission was to educate and empower youth globally. We cr created workshops based off the pillars of hip hop, sports and arts, and use technology to connect youth all over the world. So we started it <clears throat> in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, um, in a favela called Mare um, in 2009, where we did a DJ workshop, breakdancing, capoeira workshop, mm -hmm. and um, did um, we did a basketball, we did the bas basketball workshop as well. Um, we did it was about a four or five days. We did a, like a, a myriad of workshops here, and then we expanded it just not to just do it in Brazil. We start, you know, I'm from New York, New York City, in Harlem. So we started doing, doing stuff in Harlem, did in Canada. We've been in um, about four different continents now. Um, we touched about about 3,000 youths at this point and, wow. you know, continue to grow, um, you know, and we just feel like music, you know, hip hop in general, we've been focusing on a lot. Sports and arts are definitely a way to, con um, to connect people globally. I think there's a lot of common ground amongst everything within that in our world. Exactly, um, and when you think about the youth, you know, Hip hop pretty much is music right now, you know. Mm -hmm. um, sports and the arts, th there's not much that that you know that their life involves other than those those three subjects. You you know you lock them in sort of with those subjects, and then you've got their interest. You know you 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 go to them where they're already at, I guess, if you like. Yeah, I mean, pretty much like I feel like even if people like if there's like you, if there are people who don't know each other or don't feel like they connect at some place. If you put two people in the room that felt like they didn't like each other, yeah. if you could talk about music, you can talk about sports, you can talk about arts. I would say one other thing is food, but we just focus on the other three. Yeah. <laughs> you can find a common ground, you know, like yeah, you give them, you give them a burger while they're talking about those things, and then you've got <laughs> right. all of you know that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. You've got the full full house. Exactly. Um, so tell me about. We're going to talk about a really exciting musical project that I know. Mm -hmm you've got out um put out recently but what so you talked about a lot there tell me about some maybe recent on the ground work that, that you've been doing um in any of the continents that you just mentioned like give me some sort of specific projects around the world sure um so recently um i mean i've been in brazil for the last two years really been focusing on mm -hmm. building the establishment here as far as like having like as this like a as a flagship destination for our organization so we've been doing a lot of work in different favelas here in Rio. Um, we work with other partners such as Afro Reggae, which is a big um, NGO, a non-for-profit organization here in Rio. Um, Fight for Peace, which is called Luta Pela Pais in Portuguese. And Embala, um, um, Futuro Bom. So we've done, for example, we're doing breakdancing workshops, graffiti workshops, we're doing tennis workshops. Um, art workshops um, in Cocina as well. Um, and we're, we're putting together a big project called um, Art 360, which we're gonna be doing like these big, like two to three day, um, big like workshops and like, fe like kind of like small festival type of vibes in, these, in, different, in different favelas here. But then they'll continue that we'll have ongoing workshops that can be continued with like on a weekly basis, mm -hmm. but we wanna just focus on that. And then really bringing a lot of the, Rio is very big, so it's even bringing kids together in Rio to connect with each other in different areas. So that's like our focal point right now. Before that, I just came from Russia. Um, we we're doing workshops in Moscow and in St. Petersburg as well. So, you know, we just, it, you know, hip hop is huge. And I think people have to really understand that, you know, on a global level, like 
And when you get to the pillars like of, of hip hop and what hip hop is about, there are a lot of people around the world that are connecting on that vibe. Uh, that's that's amazing. Um, so someone with your uh, experience globally, your, your organization sort of experience globally, what are some of the, the commonalities that, you know, you, you're obviously, your foundation represents one thing and you give that all around the world and it fits all around the world. What is the common sort of factor amongst these youths or is there a common factor? What are the sort of commonalities that you're seeing amongst the kids that you're reaching out to? I feel it's like more so in all these areas, like kids always want to learn and kids and kids want to always want to connect and have a passion with something. And I feel like what we're bringing to that tape to the table with that brings that and 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 being in an, in an empowering way. You know, I feel like that's really what's an important piece with this is like. You know, anywhere we go, it's like people, like even with youth, it's like they just want to be involved with something. And sometimes in some places that you just don't have that, you know, or don't have it in a, in a space or giving them something that they choose to do, you know, and elect to do it and, and grow from that in, in that facet. So, yeah, absolutely. I think amongst the youth that that needing to belong, wanting to be a part of something is just a very natural thing when you're, you know, going through your those sort of formative years. Yeah. Um, what are the sort of benefits that you're seeing um, from the kids who are coming through these these projects and programs doing your your courses? I found um, a lot of the self expression, like being able to express yourself in different ways, step out of like I guess if you want to say your comfort zone and being comfortable to be uncomfortable, which is I, I feel is a positive thing. You know, it's yeah. not something that you know like where you could be like, oh, okay. Maybe someone was thinking about doing this or wanted to do something like that. Now you're giving that platform and the step to do mm -hmm. that. I feel like self-confidence is definitely one thing that it, it helps build. Um, again, like I have to reiterate self-expression because sometimes it's something like, for example, we'll have um, a workshop we call with a we call four bars. So we'll go around the room and have this kids like just say four bars, like in a circle, mm -hmm. like in a cipher, anything you want. You can get a kid that didn't want to talk or say anything, was like whispering. Like After that, they're like really vocal and like they want to talk all the time. Yeah. You know? and, it, and it's really empowering and cool to see that, you know, because it's like they stepped out. They stepped, they, they, they stepped really into themselves and stepped into like who they are. You know? That's that. Yeah, that, that's dope. You're talking about coming from um, the favelas. So you're working in the favelas in, yeah, in Brazil in here, really, at yeah. the moment. Yeah. In, we are you you know talking about working in Russia what what is it that these kids need um what 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 is the need why do you why does your organization exist um it might be you know fairly obvious but you know sometimes we need to spell out the obvious um and it might lead into my next question but yeah why do why is there such a need for an organization like yours I think um one it's resources like as far as like different things to be able to have that also I mean like I can say for me coming up growing up in Harlem I grew up in the projects in Harlem you know one of the things that benefited for me was being able to see and expand my reality and see other things and being able to experience other things that helps you want to go beyond that like a lot of times I think at any place in the world Kids can be caught up in their own hood and don't anybody and only see what's there. But when you get an opportunity to see other things or people even coming to your neighborhood from a different place and you've been able to experience it and have conversations or experience different things like that, I feel that's very important. You know, even from language perspective to you know music to to all that, I think it's 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 very important. Yeah, absolutely. Broadening horizons, exploring yeah. possibilities. You know, often if you're from a sort of inner city neighborhood, the the walls of your city are sort of, you know, the wall that's your confines. That's what you know, that's as far as you can see. And yeah, allowing, you know, having these different experiences, meeting people from different cultures, engaging and having that input can be, you know, can be life changing. You know. Absolutely. Like just for example, like people can sometimes look at something negative like, OK, like if you come from a hood, sometimes what, what you may only see is someone trying to come out being, you know, an athlete, um, you know, some, unfortunately in a lot of places you have a lot of drugs that go in there. So it might be someone that wants to be 
a drug dealer, like see, looks up to the person that's the drug yeah. dealer in your hood or whatever that case is, you know, however that looks. All of that, I, I don't even look at all the negative because even the person that's a drug dealer is an entrepreneur in some perspective. Mm -hmm. And if you give another, if you give that person another alternative motive to do something yeah. else and use that entrepreneur, entrepreneurial sure. skill to do something else, they could be a millionaire, not selling, doing art, doing, you know, whatever that is. And I think that's the the idea. Like we yeah. try to look at that from those perspectives too, because there's so many people out there that want to do something and have these goals or have these dreams or something like that, but they just need the opportunity, you know, and sometimes that's just, just it, it. Some people just don't have the opportunity as others. So we just like to try to provide as much opportunity as possible. Mm -hmm. Um you started saying, you know, one of the reasons there's the need for this is resources, um, lack of resources. How how are you funded? How where do your resources come from? How do you support um, donations? Um, doing events. Uh, my background comes from doing a um, event planning. Um, I put to get produced tours and stuff like that. So, you know, we haven't we haven't received one grant or anything like that over the last 10 years. So it's basically, you know, I've come out of my own pocket. Um, I've also people just, you know, have people who are part of our advisory team mm -hmm. that give resources the money. It's not always necessarily the money. It's just also some of the resources that you need, sure. you know, so, or, you know, mm -hmm. and doing fundraising events and things of that nature. So we're just very mindful of how to just connect with people and use resources with that. So that's really how we, we've been, you know, it's not always the easiest road with this, but and especially when you're going from, different countries, a country or a different city, even in America, you know, every, every situation is a bit different and it's a learning yeah. process. So you, you know, you, and you have to adapt. Sure. Well, well, I mean, salute to you for, for, for doing it, doing it this way and, you know, maintaining such a, a, a positive organization and outlook in, you know, such rough times, salute to you and, and all that the organization does. Appreciate it. Definitely. One of, you're, you're most welcome. One of the um, projects you talked about that's a, a recent project is this, um, the, the, the music, this collection. Tell me about this, this project. So, yeah, we started, a, we, did, we, just, we just released a project um, in July 16th called Stop Shooting, Volume 1, Voices of Justice. So it's a compilation that we connected with artists from 25 different countries to come together and record music based off of taking a stand on, on gun violence and police brutality in our global community. So we actually started it um, 2016 um, in Harlem, um, working with um, a few youths in a workshop, a hip hop workshop we were doing at the Harlem Children's Zone. And one of the kids, um, it was Terrell Lewis, he wanted to record in a big studio. Like, you know, he was a producer. That was like his goal. Mm. His grades were, a little bit not that great and I was like listen you know you want to do that I was like all right I promise you if you get your grades up to a B average I'll have you get you recording in the studio not a problem and you know come to our workshops he came to the workshops all the time he got his grades up and I said no problem I said so we got a studio for him here so we worked in a studio called um, um brewery studios out in Williamsburg Brooklyn and um <clears throat> so when we started the do record we were figuring out okay what do we want to record what kind of song you want to do and then at the time that was when trayvon martin got killed um and then eric garner in the city um the police brutalized him and killed him as well so we're like all right well why don't we do something around that so then i made a call to yusuf uh, dr yusuf salam who's part of the central park five exonerated um he's actually on our advisory board now and he came in the studio and recorded the song with the kids and one of it's called um, Hands Up Every Day. Um, that's on our album now. And Check. Look. Uh. Music ain't an easy business. No time for chilling. These guys wanting some free rides. It seems that I'm a ticket. My written's are but a fraction, like less than half of the action. I'm taking to be the baddest. It happens. I want to witness. I'm a walking statistic, artistic, but criticized. Cause my skin is a darker pigment. You get it? It's never blind. Wrong times, wrong places. A statement valid in law and applause for false justice. Believe me, it's rather odd. Cause I can be a trait. Vaughn any second left breathless just because another person got reckless. No sentence. Respectful. 
life and this life is a joke Provoking thoughts that can start up a revolution I do this, let's take a vote Young dudes is getting killed over coats I coach the youth from the booth and speak the truth from my roots I got the juice, but tell your bishop that I'm moving like a rook Take a look, straight and narrow like some arrows when I'm giving you these books Uh, times are changing, our minds are now rearranging No taming the beast inside, I'm a rhyme exposing the lies Cause the signs are on the rise, we stop it instead of pull it And I ain't stopping the grind till my lines can start blocking bullets I Hands up, don't choose slave codes again Buck dancing, thought we was prancing See three-fifths of a man I'm fighting to live, fighting to give Fighting to raise my kids I just want this to end uh. But now, we still fall deep As we climb to the top Some say the mountain's too steep Too afraid to even try Why, oh, why do you let the race die? So that was the first song we did Then it was like, well, we did that Why don't we do that and you know, do this something similar in other cities where we're doing some workshops. So we did another one in Atlanta, recorded a video with that. Um, <clears throat> then we connected well, with another partner organization in Philly that had a song that was kind of that fit the mold of that. Then when I went to Russia, we recorded another song. And then I was like, well, why don't we just continue recording? Like, why don't we just, just get artists together and, and do this? And it just morphed into this project where now we had um, recorded close to 40 songs. And now we're like, okay, so we can do two volumes instead of like, you know, we got two albums. So like, we just released the first album now. And we're gonna release yeah. the second album in November. So you know, it's been a pretty, it's been a pretty good experience, you know, doing that and just connecting with different artists all over the world. And now it's really cool to see like artists that are part of the project even doing separate projects with each other and connecting on different vibes within that. People who don't speak the same language still connecting on vibes. So it, you know, it's a beautiful thing. To see. I think it's hip hop to I think it's hip hop to its finest with it. <laughs> that it, exactly, exactly. And what an inspiring story. Uh, shout out to the young man Terrell Lewis, who you yeah. know started this thing with a, a dream to go and make a project in a studio. Now, you know, like you say, you've got other artists working, you've got um, you know, uh, Yusef Salam on, on the board, you've got other networks and associations happen happening from this one idea where an inspired young man was given some tools, the motivation and, you know, information and and look what happens, um, like you say. It's yeah, it was, so it's Terrell, yeah. Um, Gerald Ryan was called Prodigy the Prince. Um, he's another uh, MC that was on the song. That's uh, one of the youth that worked at our workshop, Yusuf Salam. Jafet was another producer within that. And, and um, Jalib. Um, Jalib, that that was another artist. So that you know, there was three, there was three, there were three um, MCs and one produ and two producers on it. So it's cool. Yeah, that's that's incredible. And um, I think is it you've got four videos that accompany yeah. the, the project out as already. Yeah. Um, I I, I ha was having a look at um, them and they are amazing. They really do show. I think you, like you said, you incorporate all of the elements of of hip hop in in your workshops, in, in your organization. And that is fully represented in the video, the global aspects of it, the community, um, fantastic representations of, of the art. Ha ha, Renee Soul on the track. Yeah, here we go. Stay equipped, get a grip so I don't slip and slide People need to realize it's bigger than just you and I Don't fall into the trap, we're better if we're unified Got a lot to contemplate, not too late to decide A wise woman said love is stronger than pride Not impressed by packaging, I'm looking on the inside Keep the fire burning, wheels turning, yo, let's ride Feel the vibe, overcome the great divide Building bridges, folks that's like-minded People out here soul-searching and I hope they find it Coalition, with the crew that's on the same mission Recapture the soul that was sold cause it's still missing What we came for, dropping knowledge over rhythms Sharing wisdom, through this new oral tradition Share the same stage, we are on the same page Much better together with a spark for these dark days Unity, it can't happen without you and I Wanna change the world, they ask who am I And how do I have the audacity can't do it alone, don't have the capacity. Yeah, I mean, and just to add with one of the videos, um, so we have one song called Don't Shoot that we did in Atlanta. Um, we were thankful enough for um, Turner Broadcast Studio donated the studio time for us to record in one day the song mm -hmm. and worked with an uh, organization called Reimagine ATL. And um, they actually were doing these three-day um, 
video, like a, is a video production camp like they would do every year. So one of the focal points after recording the song was that the kids in the camp actually have a project where they have to write, you know, do like different storyboards and all that stuff, videotape, produce and edit the song. So actually the video you see with that is all kids that they put that whole, they put the whole thing together themselves. We are not afraid. We will not give up giving. We just want to live and change this world. Don't shoot my future. It's sad to see a mother crying over a still body. Police kill black people like it's a new hobby. Can you see the pain that she's handling? Can you see the blood that she's standing on? Can't relate to the loss that she's gained. Can't see what's just as man. Either we can break or shape up the world, or pull the trigger and do hell with the world. That's incredible. That is, yeah, that, that's that's amazing. Um, shout out to everyone involved. <laughs> like I said, um, we'll have to keep keep an eye out for for volume two, and and then you know the rest of the projects that surely will come from this. What yeah. what else is is in the future? What what else is in the works? How do you see you know the organization going forward? So yeah, we're. I mean, as I would say we're building a lot of stuff here in Brazil right now. So like you know we're working on different projects in here, <clears throat> different favelas here. We're actually um, an organ. We're actually uh, organizing a global empowerment and cultural summit that's going to happen here in Rio, in November 2022, where we work with organizations such as Generation Hip Hop, Junior Music Executive, and Hip Hop Union. That's an organization based from Russia. So we'll have different workshops. Uh, we're going to have a, actually a festival, a b-boy battle, <clears throat> a global like art project, like um, probably like a, do like a, a big graffiti piece. Um, and then a global um, like a community service project. Well, probably what we're going to do here is clean a beach around here some, yeah. at some point. And I mean, that's important here. And, um, you know, we've been doing the stuff online so far. Like we're, we do, we've been doing online panels, you know, due to everything that's going on in the world with pandemics and stuff like that. So we've just been leveraging using um technology to do these panels that we do once a month and um so we're doing that um we're working on other music projects like i said we have volume two that's coming out stop shooting volume two in november we're working on an international hip-hop women's um compilation that'll be coming out wow. um in, in march um for international women's month celebrating that wow. so we're in the midst of that um, we're working on a compilation for brazil that'll come out in november and we have a project coming out from hate uh compilation for hip-hop loves Compilation Volume One, Hip Hop for Haiti, that'll be coming out in May. Um, actually, May 18th, which is um, Haitian Flag Day. So, with that, actually, we started working on that before we even started working on the Stop Shooting Project. So, these projects take time when you're doing international stuff, but you know, we have a lot of it done. But you know, timing is everything with it. So that's you know, that's one thing I've learned with you know doing this project. Even how much you want something to come out or do at some point, sometimes it's just you gotta let the universe do it. What to do? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Everything in its right time. I'm a firm believer in that. And also, you know, you're doing all of this with no grants, like you say, with yeah. no funding. People are giving up their time. You're pooling resources. Um, how can people support you, support your cause? Um, how, how can they, you know, you've got some amazing things coming up in the future. Where can people support you at? Sure. I mean, you know, we're actually also working on um, a tech drive as well to do something down here because we feel it's important. Like, you know, for example, during these times, like, you know, when stuff was shut down, you know, the projects like we, we, we couldn't do workshops. Without, we couldn't even connect with our, the, the, the youth that we work with because a lot of them don't have phones, yeah. don't have a laptop, don't have a computer, which, you know, in some cases, a lot of people have those accesses. So, you know, we're doing we something take like for that. granted. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, it, you know, if people want to donate like tech stuff, we could do that. Like, you know, you can you can reach out to me um, at Renee at hiphoploves.org or info at hiphoploves.org. Um, we have a website, www.hiphoploves.org. Um, you can also make donations on there as well. Um, you can also donate via PayPal, which is a uh, hip hop loves foundation at gmail dot com. Um, you can purchase you can make a donation for our, the Stop Shooting album. 
Um, it's on Bandcamp. So you can go to the link on Bandcamp. Just look up um, Stop Shooting Volume 1. Um, you know, Hip Hop Loves Foundation, we have a page on that. So, you know, those are just easy. Those are just the easiest ways right now that, you know, people want to support within that. Spread the word. You know, we have Instagram, you know, we're at Hip Hop Loves. We're on Twitter, at Hip Hop Loves. You know, we have a page on Facebook. So, you know, just feeling like that, get involved. If, you know, if anyone wants to even help volunteer or do like anything like that, we're more than open and, you know, conversating about that as well. So, that's, that's amazing. And I will, um, put any links in the description. Um, sure. that you, yeah, so many links, I'll put them in the description. So it's really gotcha. easy for mm -hmm. anyone to just, just go and find them. Um, is there anything else that you want to leave us with, Renee? Yeah, just saying like, you know, I think, you know, I know a lot of times, you know, we feel like there's a lot of stuff going on in the world that there's, you know, maybe some difficult time, but when you look at it, you take the perspective, there's a lot of really dope stuff happening in our world. And there's a lot of things happening. I think if we shift our mentality and focus on the real great things and people connecting and doing the stuff you love and the stuff you choose to do, I feel like that's the most important part and what everyone should be, you know, taking from that too. And I feel like that also helps with inner peace with everybody and everyone's mental health. I think that's something important to, take on and, pay, and physical health, you know, I think that's all important right now, you know, so if, you know, if you're learning anything, you should be doing that and, you know, just love, love, love yourself and, you know, love, have love and compassion for each other. That's it. I, I couldn't agree more. And, you know, it, your, your organization is, is one-to-one, -one, you know, working on a one-to-one -one level, it, doing things that change people's lives, change the lives of young people. Um, that that that's huge. So definitely, definitely something worth supporting, sharing, talking about, you know, listening mm -hmm. to the music um in whatever way, in whatever way you can support um a, a really, really worthwhile thing to do. So um thank you so much for no, coming. Thank on. you. And it's also something just to add this last like mm -hmm. we you know we you know, I learn all the time from the stuff. You know, I learn from kids. I learn from stuff. So it's not everything we're looking at, like, oh, well, we're giving this or you're teaching this to kids. Like, it's a learning process for everybody. And I think, you know, that's where there has to be, you know, humility and being humble with certain things, you know, especially from the work we're doing, you know, coming to a different country, different culture, different languages and all that stuff. Like, you got to be able to understand it and you got to be respectful and you have to be able to have compassion with certain things, you know, with that too. So I feel like that's one of the most very important things and also having gratitude, being thankful for what you have at the end of the day as well. I, I couldn't agree more. Um, what a great note to end on. Um, everybody, please go support Renee, go and follow um, and, and like I say, listen to the music, go and watch the videos. Uh, they will also be linked in the description. Some really dope uh, projects coming from some really cool young people. So thanks, Renee. Thank you, and appreciate you today, man. Definitely okay. keep doing some really dope stuff. I see a lot no of the stuff you're doing is great. I'm so gonna, I appreciate it. 